OpenAI just dropped their text video Sora application, which is crazy groundbreaking tech in my opinion. What does this mean for your technical or engineering job as we go into the future? Let's find out. This is quite groundbreaking technology that OpenAI has come out with, in my opinion. The text to video capabilities are quite impressive. There's been a lot of cool videos that have come out on Twitter and a lot of videos that seem too good to be true. But some of the rumors that are deeper basically saying that OpenAI has been withholding this information for almost a year. There were some rumors on Twitter saying that OpenAI has been trying to strum up some social momentum. And that's why Sam Altman announced Sora because it's been very quiet. I had not been hearing anything about this text to video capability from them. A week or so ago, Sam Altman came out and said that he needs $7 trillion to work on AI, which is a crazy number. And after Sora came out yesterday, I'm actually interested to see if he can find that money somewhere. I mean, 7 trillion is only like a quarter of the US national debt right now, a little less than a quarter. So maybe somebody can come up with it. But the general purpose AI thing is still scary if you're in an engineering or technical role, or really any role. I think basically everyone needs to start caring about how AI is going to affect their job and their industry, and I think people that are in engineering or technical jobs need to care yesterday. So what is this text-to-video thing going to do to your industry? Have you thought about it? Where is this going to go from here? I really think that some version of something akin to an NFT which can prove digital provenance of an image or a video. So something that can show that it hasn't been generated by an AI is going to become very critical here, very short term, especially with the elections this year. So I think that's gonna be super interesting to see who gets there first and who can help prove the digital provenance of digital images and videos first. I know Sony's trying to do it in some of their really high-end cameras. I haven't really heard if it's working or not. I'm very intrigued, but in terms of your particular industry, so you're in the engineering industry, let's say, where do you think this is gonna go? I really think that a lot of the low level jobs, so entry level things, you should be super concerned because a lot of what I've been seeing can really automate a majority of those entry level jobs. So they're gonna be able to automate interns in those associate level positions to just a machine. So what are you going to do to try to combat this? Well, you need to start learning emotional and social intelligence. So you need to have the emotional intelligence to know how you are going and regulating your emotions well, and the social intelligence to grow a professional network and use all of these new tools that are coming out to great effect and more efficiently than previously possible. So if you're a high performing engineer, you should view all these AI tools as tools. I think my favorite analogy that I've seen when it comes to all these AI things in the last few months has been all these prompt based AI tools are like hammers. So I'm not worried about a hammer building my house. I'm worried about a carpenter building my house. So I don't call a hammer to build my house. I call a carpenter. So if you're an engineer or technical professional, you need to be a better carpenter because your hammer can now think for itself. You're still going to be necessary. There's still going to be carpenters around or engineers. You see where I'm going with this analogy, right? So there's still going to be engineers and people around. There's just going to be fewer of them. And I want you to be among those fewer people that are still around. And I really think that that's going to be best executed by social and emotional intelligence, because as the tools get better, the human aspect is going to matter more for you to be able to maintain your spot in those companies. What do you think? You should leave me a comment below because I think this is an incredibly interesting conversation and I've seen people on both sides of the fence. You have people who are complete doomers like, oh, this is going to just ruin everything. And then you have people saying like, this is going to make it so nobody has to work. So which side of the fence are you on? My opinion is definitely that these tools are going to be tools. They're not going to completely omit everyone's job, but the people that are higher up are going to be a lot more efficient and get a lot more output using these really fancy new tools. You should also check out the link below and join my Discord. You can come and have more of a conversation with some like-minded people and really figure out where this technology is gonna go. Are you worried AI is gonna be taking your job anytime soon? I really think you should be working on your emotional and social intelligence. When you're ready to start with your emotional intelligence, you should get going with that playlist up here. Or if you're already an EQ rockstar, 
you can get to social intelligence by checking out the playlist over here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the results that you've been getting.